sign and sell card. Because we see that a lot of y'all still don't understand the sign and sell. Right. Um, basically, the sign and sell is Carnival's way of having a cashless system on board. Uh, like we explained that it's for to get off and on the ship. It's for to pay for things uh, on the ship. And it's also uh, for you to get in and out of your uh, cabin. Okay. Mm-hmm. But uh, a lot of people get confused about the way that you should fund it. So we've been talking about some of the things that happens based upon the way you fund it. So we got some accountables black and white here that I want to bring on the screen. Come on now. So this right here is when you use your credit card or your debit card. So you remember we was telling you guys we don't recommend you using your debit card because they put those holes on there. So you, if you're on your phone, you may have to zoom it in a little bit. I don't know how, how small it's going to be. Uh, but right there on line number three and four, what the first, the third and fourth dot, it say a two to six day cruise, they're going to take a hundred dollar hole and charge it on your credit card or debit card. If your mom told you even it's a credit card or debit card, they're still going to do the holes, but it's a credit card. It don't you matter don't because it. you ain't spending that money. And then you can see on a seven day cruise or longer, they're going to do a $200 hole. And then here's the thing they have to understand. This happens before you even get on the ship. Yeah, before you get on the ship. Yep. Before, like literally, you could be coming from off that, off that shuttle, the airport, you're going to see a $200 hold or a $100 hold before you even make it there. Yep. And as you can see right there on the fifth bullet point, you can see where it says uh, that the uh, that depending on your issuing bank hold policy, um, that's going to limit, be limiting your funds. So when you get back home, mm-hmm. uh, you might not have access to all of your, all of your money. So that's why we recommend, um, funding it with your credit card. And then the next way you can fund it with based upon the website is you can fund it with cash. Uh, as you can see here. They say travelers checks too, but we're not yeah. even going to touch on that because who's doing that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And see, I, I, what I like about Carnival talk, you can see here on like a two to four day, they recommend doing a hundred dollars per person. Five to eight day, two hundred dollars per person, and a nine day along with three hundred fifty. So you can oh, you so can, we behind the curve ball, baby. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we behind. We don't, we, don't, we don't be spending that, but we will be spending that much cash, baby. Uh, but but then also we get the question: Is how other ways can you fund it? Um, you can fund it with a Carnival gift card. You can fund it with any prepaid card that has a Visa or Master logo. Show them what a um, sign of sale card looks like. Here's mine right there. And then also, after you finish watching this live right here, we ask that you go ahead and check out our video called 21 Crucial Tips that every first time cruiser needs to know. And it's going to be linked right here after the live. And we're going to catch you guys in the next video. Straight from the VA. Two up. Two down. Holla.